Hello everyone. Well, today on Mixing It Up with Gigi, I am going to be making a seafood boil. And this is the second one that's going to be on my page. So I hope you'll walk through, through with me and also give it a try. If you hear water running, is my tower garden trying to take a drink. I have in front of me some garlic and um sorry some onions and lemon then i have some crushed garlic i also have some lobster tails and ice over there some lobster claws um some crab legs some shrimp and i have some corn so let's get started all right so the first things first i have this huge pot here and i have some water in it i'm gonna bring it to a boil and I'm gonna to add to my water, I'm gonna add veggie broth. Spice the water up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and let that um, come to a boil. But before I do that, while it's, um, while I'm waiting for it to come to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. So I'm gonna put this is two large onions that I chopped. And some people use the onions with the skin, but um, because I'm not using my steamer, I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off. So I chopped those onions, one large lemon in cubes. And now I'm going to put one head of garlic. And again, you can put the garlic in there um, with the... Um, the skin on it, but I took mine off because I'm not using the steamer. Then I'm going in with some Old Bay and um, I tasted the crab legs and they're pretty salty already. So I don't want to put too much salt and have it, you know, over salty. So I'm using Old Bay and it's the garlic and herb. I'm going in with all of that. I'm also going in with one stick of butter. yep it's seafood boil guys so yeah we need we need some flavor in here all right so one stick of butter of your choice then i have also this thing that is better than bouillon i'm gonna go in with a few actually with what's left in the jar it's not much left in there so i'm just gonna go in with all of that called better than bouillon but leave a little bit for my sauce okay and um, then I'm going in with some table blend um, salt free again but some table blend seasoning got to flavor this water it got to taste right I'm going in with some Mrs. Dash a lot of seafood so you know you gotta you gotta make it taste good then I have here this seasoning also it's a seafood seasoning it's called slap your mama it's pretty salty it's, it's on the stronger side of salt so you want to be conservative with that so I think I put about two tablespoonfuls of that in there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and let that come to a boil while that is coming to a boil, I'm going to prepare the, um, the potato because I'm going to cook the potatoes first. I'm going to cook some red potatoes and some corn. I'm going to cook that first. Okay, this is tasty, tasting pretty good. So I'm going to cover that and let it come to a boil, okay? Okay, so while my, I'm waiting on my pot to boil, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my potatoes. And um, I have some red potatoes here, but I like to cut off some of the parts. Excuse me. Some of the parts that I don't like, I will cut them off and then I'll just split them. And um, they're not always perfect. So sometimes I have to, you know, do a little something, something to them so I can get them. If I see some part on it that doesn't look right, I'm going to cut it off. 
okay and some of them are get will get split and some will stay whole if they're too small so this one looks good cut it in four so they can be even size so they can cook cook at the same pace and I'm not going to put too much potato because I already have macaroni and cheese and rice and says enough for the um for the um so i'm just gonna put maybe about two or two and a half pounds of potatoes that's about all i'm gonna put like i said we have a lot of other food so shouldn't be too many potatoes so i'm gonna go ahead and wash that and have it ready for the pot I know you can't see me wash, washing over here. Just get them nice and clean. Sometimes I use a veggie brush to scrub that my potatoes as well. And um, depending on how they look. Sometimes they look really nice and clean. Sometimes they have dirt and sand on them. So you just have to make sure that they are nice and clean before you go put them in your seafood bowl, okay? My kids are very picky too. Any little thing they see that looking perfect, they're not going to touch it. So I have to make sure everything is on par. The next thing I'm going to do, I have some frozen corn here. And I also have some fresh corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those and have them ready as well. Cause I'm cooking the potatoes and the corn and at the same time. And even though they're frozen corn guys, I still rinse my corn, I'm sorry. I might be OCD, but that's all right. Sometimes they have so much ice on them, you need to get that off. This is a huge seafood boil, but there's going to be a lot of us, so that's okay. Because I always love leftovers. Now for the, the fresh ones, I am definitely have to use um, the um, veggie brush on them, get all that fuzz off of them. And I'm also going to um, break them in half. All right, guys, I'm going in with my potato and my corn. And this might slow the boiling process down a little bit because the um, corn are frozen. But I have it up on high, so it will come right back up pretty soon. Make sure you taste your seafood boil to make sure it has the flavor you're going for, okay? Alrighty, so there we go. This is a whole half a pot of corn and banana, uh, sorry, banana, corn and um, potato. So we're going to go ahead and cover that, let it come back to a boil. And once they're cooked, we're going to fish them out and then start putting in the seafood, okay? All right, guys. So while, my, while I'm waiting on the potato and the corn to cook, I usually don't make a sauce for my seafood, but I'm going to make a sauce this time because... Normally what happens by the time my seafood boil gets done, everything is so delicious, you really don't need the extra butter. But because I'm making this for Thanksgiving dinner, and it's not directly for my household, I'm going to make a sauce, okay? So now, I have this pot here, I'm going to put two sticks of butter. It's a lot of seafood, so it wants sauce, so I'm going to go ahead and make a sauce. 
while those are melting I'll go ahead and chop some garlic all right now I'm going in with some garlic and that's a whole head and a half of garlic guys you want a lot of garlic in this stuff I'm going to decrease the heat all the way down. And I'm going to infuse some basil, not basil, I'm sorry, some sage leaves. I'm going in with some a, a several leaves of sage. I'm going to slowly infuse that butter with some sage. Guys, this is to die for. It smells good, it tastes good. It's just gonna give a nice enhancement to your um, seafood boil. So again, I'm going in with several leaves of sage. And just let it slowly infuse. Infuse the butter slowly while the garlic is in there. Need it to be very, very low. And it takes a little time. All right, guys, while I'm waiting on my garlic butter, took my garlic and butter to infuse, I'm cutting my lobster tails. They are not big, but you have to cut them because they have a nasty vein just like shrimp. Like, um, if you look right here, I already cleaned this one somewhat, but if you look right here, you can see a little bit of it right there. So you really have to get in there and clean that. So just remember that. And then that is, sometimes you buy them and they're already cut. These are not yet cut, so I'm going to have to put some elbow grease in there. With my little cleaver here. And let me show you. Here is a vein. You have to get all of that out. The vein is all the way in there. So you have to go in and take it out, guys. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're pink. Here, here, here's the vein. All of that stuff have to get cleaned out from the lobster tail, okay? So you just run some cold water and rinse it all out. Make sure you get it all. This one have a big one, see? So just make sure you take all of that out of your, your lobster tail. Don't cook it with that big green monster in there and then um, you just put it back on the ice. They're not very hard to cut as long as you have a nice sharp knife. And again, they're not big lobster tails, but you still have to get that cruddy stuff out of there, okay? This one has a big one. Now you can really see the vein that I'm talking about because this one is blue. Here it is, nice, big, nasty vein, okay? So get that out there before you cook your lobster, you cook your lobster tail, if you're using lobster tail, okay? Make sure you get that out. Okay guys, I'm going in for the, take out the sage leaves now. They've been infusing for a while and if you could only smell what this smells like so i'm taking all these sage leaves out and i'm actually going to dump them into the seafood boil let them continue to release some flavor in there and now i'm going to go ahead and um add a little bit of the old bay without so much salt to give some color. Butter sauce, guys, butter and garlic. Going in with some dried parsley. Mmm, wow. 
Wow. All right, guys, the garlic butter is, I, I just um, turned the heat off, the garlic butter. Here it is. It's ready. It's delicious. But it's butter and garlic. Anyway. All right, guys, I'm going in now to fish out my um, um, corn and potatoes. They are now cooked. And what I did do, I put a couple of the lobster claws in with the corn and potatoes and so now i'm just fishing them out and then i'm going to put in the um other seafood don't want them to cook out to mush so best to take them out now some of them are already breaking up Oh no, I thought, I thought that was just garlic, extra garlic. A lot. Yeah, there goes the lobster claw that's um, cooked with the corn and potato. And I did also put um, a few bay leaves in. Yes, this is a lot, guys. I'm happy. Oh, and there's a little stray crab leg. Look at that. So now I can put my seafood in. and have them steamed of course it's not going to take a long time because you know remember they are they are already cooked there's another crab claw and i have these um sage leaves in here and i have to fish those out too another lots of claw all righty so now I'm going in with my crab legs over here. Let me focus back on the pot. All right, guys. So now I'm going with my I'm going to go in with my crab claws first. Keep in mind everything that I'm putting in now. They are already cooked except for the lobster. And the lobster really only take about five or six minutes to cook. And then we're done. Seafood ball is finished. Going in with the crab legs now. And they're not big guys, but you know what? They, it is what it is. They're not big crab legs. I'm disappointed. They were very expensive, but definitely small. But that's okay. Okay, so that's the crab legs, and I'm going to go ahead and let that come to come back to a boil, and then I'm going to top off, top it off with the shrimp. I have some colossal shrimp. I'm going to top it off with that. And then I'll put in the um, the lobsters for about six minutes, and that will conclude it. Okay. All right, everyone. So now I'm going in with these colossal shrimp. There are a lot of them, and whoop, oops, nice big shrimp. They're already deveined, and I'm leaving the um, shell on them. So I'm going in with those, and of course, you know they. Those cook in a few minutes as well. So this seafood boil is almost finished. A lot of shrimp. And these you have to catch them on sale because they are the colossal shrimp and sometimes they can be a little pricey. But if you catch them right time, you're going to get them on sale. 
again you have to watch this because these shrimp cook within a couple minutes gonna fish them out as soon as they're cooked and then add my lobster for another few minutes All right, guys, I finished fishing everything out the pot and I put the lobster tails in. And now I'm taking them out and placing them on a, a bed of ice right here. Otherwise, they're going to get, I just want to stop the fishing process. Otherwise, they're going to get very tough and you won't be able to enjoy them. And they're way too expensive to waste so here we go these are the lobster tails okay guys so the seafood boil is ready and remember this that butter sauce yes lord it is going all over the seafood already toss the um, lobster tails in it yes lord let us give thanks there it is guys there it is and that will conclude my seafood boil please give it a try it is so scrumptious i already tore up quite a few pieces while i'm doing what i'm doing so go ahead give it a try it's delicious and i'm gonna say happy thanksgiving i also have other dishes to go with this but this is the star of the show the seafood boil thank you guys for watching until next time god bless